Okay, I want to take a quick moment here to show everyone the new gun I bought. Uh, I found this used on the gun forums the other day, and I had to buy it. Someone had it listed as uh, used unfired, which is just as good as new to me. Uh, didn't get it for much off MSRP, about $300 under MSRP, but still, good deal right now to get any gun at. Now, a lot of people assume I already had one of these because I'm such a SIG fan, but I did not, so I thought I had better pick one up. As you can see, it is a SIG 1911. It is the 5-inch with the rail. Uh, so it also come with one, two, three mags. That's pretty good nowadays to get three mags with a gun. So let me get it out of the box here and I will uh, show it to you. All right, here is the gun itself. As you can see, like I said, it is the five inch length, which it would be the full size government length 1911. I'm not really a big fan of five inch 1911s, but I've got a couple of four inches and a couple of uh, the three and a half inches already. So I needed a five inch for my collection. So it was a pretty good choice to get the uh, five inch here. As you can see, this is the SIG that is actually shaped like a SIG. It's not one of the newer ones that they've copped out and made them, you know, traditional 1911. So it looks just like every other 1911 made. This is the one that actually looks like a SIG 1911, so I like that. I uh, also hope people notice my dirty fingernails there. I left that specifically for some people after I was working in the yard today installing landscaping lighting. Uh, I would normally clean them before I did a video, but uh, I know some people like to note my uh, fingernails, so that's just for you people there. Uh, hope you love it. And uh, getting back to the gun itself here, really nice gun, not cheap. I didn't really need another 1911. But uh, really, really wanted it. A lot of people are like, well, why did you sell to buy this? Because they know I'm supposed to sell a gun to get a gun. Well, I learned a long time ago that I am the boss of my household. And I learned that I can do what I want to do. So I haven't sold anything yet to replace it, uh, to fund it or anything like that. So right now I'm just up a gun. But really nice gun. I'll show you some of the features here. Of course, one of the main features on this model is the rail. This is a railed 1911. Can't imagine what I would stick under there. Maybe a bayonet or something. I don't know. But uh, nice that it's there. Uh, this does have the, it's not like the bull uh, barrel types with the uh, full length guide rods. It is actually a traditional one with the, uh, I'm blanking on the name of the piece right now. But uh, you know what I'm talking about. So Full trigger, not a skeletonized trigger, which is odd on a gun of this. Usually they put skeletonized triggers on guns this high end, but I think SIG actually just likes the flame flat trigger, and you know, and I kind of like it too. It's got the sporterized hammer here, everything. Uh, nice beaver tail, really nicely put together. One of the more unique features of these type guns is the external extractor. So these guns have the external extractor, got the real nice grip safety here. Just a very nice gun all over the blackwood uh, grips here, if you can see the grips up close. They're the Blackwood SIG grips. Let's see if that focuses. There you go. The black uh, Blackwood SIG grips with a SIG uh, em emblem on there. So really nice 1911 overall. I just wanted to show everyone here. Uh, I haven't got a chance to get to the range yet, but I have taken this apart several times today, and I can say this 1911 is put together very, very well. Uh, I have seldom seen a 1911 put together any better, and I'm talking guns that were three, $3,500 that were no better assembled than this gun. So I really look forward to taking and shooting it. I think it's going to be a pleasure. But just wanted to take a second here to show everyone uh, my newest purchase.